I'm Todd Townsend here at CES 2015. I'm here with Anson from Tracking Point now. Anson, I'm looking here at what you got, and we're at a tech show, biggest tech show in the world. This is not a toy gun. This no. is the real deal, and it's got a whole lot of really interesting technology that's nowhere else in the world yet. Tell us a little bit about what you got here. Yeah, so what we've introduced at Tracking Point this year is the first internet based gun, essentially. It's a precision guided firearm. It's a fully integrated system. So we've taken our Linux based network tracking scope, um, paired it with a guided trigger, a trigger link that actually controls, the, the, the scope actually controls the trigger. We have a barrel referencing system that actually self zeroes the gun over time. Um, we have a power source in the buttstock. A lot of things going on that, that make long range shooting um, easy. So you said that the scope controls the triggering system, so it can actually fire the weapon when a target's acquired automatically once it, the computer feels it's in sight? Not automatically. You still have to squeeze the trigger okay. as that shooter, but it's not going to fire until you, that ballistic solution is met. Got it. Okay. So, so you hit the trigger by accident or you pull it, it's not going to fire until the computer thinks you're dead on. Exactly. Wow, that's exactly. Right. And now what's the range? I think you guys are talking about crazy range for even an amateur with this system. Yeah, so what we've introduced here at CS this year is, is what we're calling the 338 TP or the mile maker. So okay. this will actually tag targets out to one mile, even moving targets up to 30 miles an hour. Wow, oh my gosh. Now, in the picture, you've got a guy with the glasses on here, and he's reaching over a berm or something, but looking and shooting, and these are the glasses right here. How do these work? You, the shooter wears them, and you can kind of see where you're aiming? Yeah, so basically, within within this right here, there's a what we call a heads-up display screen, much like um, Abrams tank technology or jet fighter technology. Um, in there is a Wi-Fi server that streams video to any smart device, smart tablet. Um, it also streams to wearable technology. And in this particular case, it's an Android device. We partnered with Recon Glasses. This allows a shooter to, you know, in a, in a military defense situation, to shoot from a covered position around a berm, over, you know, behind a wall, a barricade to, to stay out of out of line of oncoming oncoming fire. Then, but it also enables. Uh, it really enhances the hunting experience. Right. So it, you know, it allows you to stream video to co-located individuals. They can sit there and share in that hunting experience. For mentoring applications, it's great. You can sit there if you're with a young person. You can identify whatever they're shooting at and make sure that they're on the right target. Right. Uh, but it allows you to, to really stream to anybody securely through the internet around the world. Wow. So you could have a you could have a father in Austin, Texas, who is sitting on his couch, looking at a TV, and he, he could have a son in Africa on a safari, and they can connect to one another and share that hunting experience real time. And uh, so a little bird told me here too that the military's interested in this. They're testing it out. They see something promising here. I can see all kinds of applications. Just like you have drones now and you can track what's going on with the cameras, the military can see what their snipers are doing real time. Absolutely, and, and you know they can, they can, at that point, decide whether or not a guy, a sniper, or whoever is, is on that, that um, shoot, uh, determine whether or not they want to send that round or not. They can go on a command. That way everything is controlled. Right. It also records audio and video. So you can have a real, you know, you can go back and see what, what that shooter saw. You can, from a civilian standpoint, you can download that to social media, email it to friends and family. But, you know, back to the defense or law enforcement side of things, it helps with liability situations. Sure. Anytime there's a shooting, it's a he said, she said, there's a lawsuit. This actually allows you to go back in there, pull video, and see exactly what transpired. Well, you know, you're moving to smart, smart weaponry, just like the military with the smart bombs in the early 90s. So you only shoot what you're supposed to shoot, and you can have eyes on it, have more people saying go or not, and you know, what, you know what you're doing. There's a safety factor as well. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Well, this is really cool stuff. I wish you the best. Uh, you know, we don't see a lot of this type of thing here at CES, but it's good to see uh, the modern technology, especially Linux-based, being put into something like this out there in the field. Good luck. Cool, thanks, Todd. Right. Have a good time. For CS 2015, I'm Todd Townsend.